Hello students, welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Dr. Meera from University of Delhi. Today we are going to discuss about a module, an overview of research output on user studies under the paper library use and user study. The basic objectives of this module as is under like that to understand the significance of research on user study, to know the role of agencies working on user study, to establish the discipline on which the user study conducted, to conduct online survey by using the ready-made questionnaire and to know the web links on which the resources are being available for the use. The user study has now become an important thrust area for research in library and information science because the results of user study may be used to improve the services and functionings of the library. Many research studies have focused on how the people use the information, electronic resources or their feeling about the electronic and print resources in library since the years. These usage studies draw many conclusions about the behavior and the preferences of the library users, although sometimes the conclusions are contradictory or unclear. It is quite obvious that the practice of librarianship may be improved by making available user study. We can also enhance the understanding of users' behavior through user study. The rationale of the study should be taken in mind while conducting the user study. The study is based on the information needs of particular users can also motivate those users for their reading interest in the subject concern. The study of, for the behavior of the users will be certainly be helpful to improve the library activities and the practices. Generally, two types of survey conducted for the research on the user's study. First, by the library itself, in this survey, libraries conduct survey to evaluate the services and the functionings of the library and institutions, then improve their quality of services by users of their library. Another type, the user study are concerned with the individuals or other than the library for making the general policy for particular libraries. The survey can be conducted online or offline. For this, time and efforts both are important factor to conduct a user study. Let's see the concept of user studies. Generally, we used to study the user's behavior and their information needs under the user study. What we need to know, what information do we need in order to provide good services to the people who come to us to use the concern library to fulfill their information needs, etc. Any study regarding the use of library and its resources in any form or certain basis issues come under the category of user study. We know that user study may consist of multi-dimensional aspect. Keeping in mind the nature of the study, we may distinguish the user study in the following manner. Uh, human resource related studies for all kinds of user interaction with library personnel for betterment of library services and library resources as well. Second, what kind of information resources like books, journals, working papers, monographs, grey literature are being used by the users of the library. The format like digital, e-format or traditional format is more used by the users. All these studies related with the use of library materials may be assessed or studies for overall development of the concerned library. All the studies related with the dissemination of information available in the library or in other words, it may be stated that all studies related with the knowledge dissemination systems of the library to achieve its goal. Meaning of research output. According to concise Oxford Dictionary, output means the amount of something produced by a person, machine or industry or the process of producing something on the power, energy, etc. supplied by a device or a system. In general, research output means all the process of producing research is called research output. The research output in terms of libraries are concerned with the use of library resources to fulfill the objectives of the libraries. It may also consist of the impact for all the devices and techniques, library services, collections, facilities and views of the library personnel and user community.
Research defined as the creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new or the creative way to generate new concept, methodology and understanding. This could include synthesis and analysis of previous research to the extent that it leads to new and creative outcome. The major difference between the research output and the research outcome is that research outputs are the activities, events, services and products that reach people. However, research outcomes or impacts are the changes in the knowledge, action or conditions. Need and scope of research output on user study. The user is an important component in any library system. The large number of studies carried out so far consisting of several aspects over the user's view regarding library facilities and services and behavior of the library staff towards the library users. Most of the users' studies carried out so far in India are related with educational research work for certain purposes. This kind of studies conducted on various levels in India like university, college, schools of different states. Some of the studies based on the academic institutions, establishment for the development of science, humanities and social sciences. The scope of these studies very limited as they were designed for certain purposes. Only a few have taken into consideration for publication and policy making purposes. The concept of internal evaluation of library system in India is still not very well as defined. Most of the time, librarians on which survey was conducted do not know the outcome of the survey as the report of the survey was not submitted to them. These kinds of studies are limited to surveyor and their concern authority only. The provision was never made that a copy of the report must be sent to that organization from where the data are generated. The users' needs and behavior related reports must be taken care of for improving the quality of library services and infrastructural facilities. The library itself designed a system to fulfill their specific objectives by using appropriate and adequate methodology to examine users' needs. Now, let's see the need and the scope of research output on user study. The role of library in educational system and in the information retrieval process is very significant. Thus, for making effective use of the resources, interactions of the user community with the library system is very essential. Keeping the ever facts in mind, we have to identify reality of this system. What are the information needs for the users? What kind of facility exists for meeting the needs, those needs of the users? What process is being adopted for the promotion of library resources and services? And how user reacts towards library services? How much information sources are being used by the users? The role of the library within the library system should be evaluated, assessed and justified within a given time. The existing library services, resources, tools and the equipment ICT system must be up to date. It may be conducted that the user studies are an effective way for the library to introduce users feedback. The outcome of the user's study are related with the statistical analysis for the library use, information retrieval processes, needs of the users for improving and restructuring library services. In general, scope of the user's study would assess the following facts like Huge pattern of the library, frequency of the use of the library resources, ease to access in library. Second, users priorities, their needs and the expectations from library staff, preferences for use of library collection services and the systems of the library. Third, assessment of library collection includes e-resources and traditional resources both library services, library personnel regarding users satisfaction. Generally, the users studies are surveyed oriented. The data collected from these survey are being helpful in allocation of the finance and human resources. They are also used to inform decision making and strategic planning for the different library units. The data collected from survey also used to study the political process. Sometimes it is used for presentation to improve the library practices and convey the real fact of the library to faculty members 
academic councils and the library advisory boards to support for betterment of the library. The user survey data are also used in preparing proposals for grants for financial assistance also. What is happening in the library? Sometimes data collected to know this fact provides the surprising results. Certainly, these results may be helpful to improve the quality of library services, interactions with the users and other related plans. The following applications may be indicated from the output of the research obtained from user's study. The user studies are helpful collection development of the library. It may be useful to take decisions for the subscription of information resources like books, journals in both print and electronic format. Second, user study may be used in making budget, subscription of e-journals and other library facilities to improve the library system. It may also be used to meet users needs and their expectations regarding information resources. All the library services like reference, circulation, resource sharing, interlibrary loan or document delivery services can definitely be improved by using the results of the user studies. Types of research output on user study. It has already been stated that research output of user study may be depends on the researcher's interest and choice. It must be carried out by the librarians or researchers of the library information science disciplines or any other individual or body for having specific objectives. Some of the researchers share their views by learning the experiences of the librarians or library personnel. These experiences may be useful for the development of the concerned library. These views may be taken as a research output for certain specific objectives. Librarians can also try to identify the user's interest regarding the availability of library materials and the facilities available for them. They can also conduct a survey by putting research questions to know their views for betterment of the library services and to measure their satisfaction. They can also use this significant data or the information for the reports of their own library. The scope of this kind of report may be limited to concern library only. It cannot be generalized for entire system working for the library as it was designed for a specific purpose. If the data information used in the report has wide version for certain issues related to same kind of libraries then only the output of the research must have broader impact over the library. This will definitely ensure the qualitative library services. We know that the process of thinking differs from man to man. Therefore, this phenomena will also influence the research output of the user study. While making review of literature for any research study, we prepare a variety of research output concerned with the subject. In the review of literature output of the research studies may consist of different characteristics like descriptive, constructive, real, hypothetical, etc. It can be used descriptive and prescriptive model, positive and normative methods in preparing the literature survey. Review of literature is based for that study which has been carried out by the researcher. It may be fully based on that theme or related to them to some extent. Some of the studies conducted earlier employed a variety of research methods. The researcher have different approaches in study and given different outcomes for their users and the library. Now let's see the how many types of research output on user study can be categorized. Most of the studies related to the users may be different by its nature. However, some of the general types of user studies are as follow like survey on the library and library use, users priorities like choices, interest, linking etc. And the third one is user satisfaction and behavior. The large number of studies has been made so far by the individuals or the institutions on these area. These studies belongs to the different places, different disciplines and different approaches. In India, most of the studies related with the users are carried out by individual researcher only for certain specific purposes. The scope for evaluation process for the libraries in India is not as encouraging as desired. There are large number of institutions working in the concerned field at international level. They are making approaches to provide qualitative services to their users 
for which they are regularly conducting survey related with the users and the library. Some of the popular and selected organizations institutions are mentioned here for the same purposes. Types of research output on user study, some of the examples. Tenopier and King National Science Foundation NSF developed a questionnaire under contact for survey universities and other settings in 1977. A large number of surveys were conducted by the researcher on scientists, engineers, medical researchers and the social scientists in addition to other professionals and students. Most of the survey applied the same questionnaire with some modifications to reflect technological changes. James Evans, Brian Seattle in 2004, Tenopier in 2014 explained reading pattern and citation pattern for science and publishing communities, online and electronic journals. They expressed that journals freely available online cited even less. The reading pattern and the citation pattern differs in researchers while research and writing. The percentage of searching is high but citation is very low. LibQLTM. The online survey is conducted by several libraries but this trend is popular in American and European countries more. As far as India is concerned, it is limited to individual researchers only. Majority of the libraries in India are not so interested to make self-survey to evaluate its services. Some of the libraries situated in Western countries are using LibQL plus TM for survey. The brief information on the same is slide is a survey method. LibQLTM is a survey method used by libraries to understand their users' experience and to improve their quality of services. Central to program is a web-based survey in which library users evaluate the offered products and services and offer suggestions for improvement. The questionnaire judge the user's expectations and the need of the his or her satisfaction with the label currently offered for each part of the services. LibQL team um, has participated libraries in Canada, the US, Australia and the United Kingdom and other European countries. Let's see some of the examples of this user survey conducted by the different institutions, organizations and the personals. The first one is LibQL plus TM. It is a survey conducted online. To fill out the questionnaire, you will need an internet address. The link sent to you via your universally email account. All the data is stored on server in the United States. There are a number of libraries making online survey for the research. University of Success Library conducted a survey in 2011 and found it suitable to review the services of the library. Similarly, British Library, Wadsworth Library and the Davidson Li County Public Library System also conducted online survey. Apart from these mentioned library, several other libraries also conducted online survey to find out how the use the library computers and internet connections. The survey are helpful for libraries to improve their technological services and communicate the value of providing free access to computers and the internet within the community. The next one is Super General Project 1995 UK. Super General is an electronic journal research project developed by a consortium of publishers and the UK universities to investigate users experience of electronic journal and the factors that will make future services successful. The Super General Consortium includes approximately 20 societies, university press and commercial publishers like Academic Press Limited, Blackwell Publishers, Blackwell Science Limited, CAB International, Cambridge University Press, Carfax Publishing Company, Champion Hall Limited, Churchill Living Store Limited, Elsewhere Science Limited, Institute of Physics Publishing Limited, Institutes of Electrical Engineering, Macmillan Publishers Limited, Oxford University Press, Rapid Science Limited, Routledge Limited, Royal Society of Chemistry, Sage Publications Limited, Society for Endocrinology, Teller and Francis Limited, John Wiley, and Sons are included in the Super General Consortium. Another example, Pew Internet and American Life Studies. Pew Research Center is a non 
partisan fact tank that informs the public about the issues, attitudes and trends shaping America and the world. It conducts public opinion polling, demographic research, media content analysis and other empirical social science research. Pew Research does not take policy positions. It is a subsidiary of the Pew Charitable Trust. Cell phones and social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are playing an increasingly prominent role in how voters get political information and follow elections news, according to new national survey by the Pew Research Center. Council on Library and Information Resources the Council on Library Information Resources is an independent non-profit organization that forges strategies to enhance research, teaching and learning environments in collaboration with libraries, cultural institutions and communities of higher learning. Council on Library Information Resources aspire to transform the information landscape to support the advancement of knowledge. Council on Library Information Resources promotes forward-looking collaborative solutions that transcend disciplinary, institutional, professional, and geographic boundaries in support of the public good. In pursuing its mission, Council on Library Information Resources committed to building trust among the serving community, retaining independence, fostering collaboration among the institutions and organizations and the people, cultivating effective leadership and capitalizing on strategic opportunities among the member institutions. The organization advances its mission through project initiatives and partnership, publications, the DLA program and the award and the fellowship opportunity. Through CLIR Connect, CLRI provides a forum for discussion, exchange, and collaboration in Washington, D.C. Data are now available from a large-scale study of how information usage patterns are changing among undergraduates, graduate students, and faculty members in U.S. academic institutions. The report dimensions and the use of the scholarly information environment that includes introduction to a data set assembled by the Digital Library Federation and Outsell Incorporation can be available on the given site. The next one is Hiver. Hiver Press is a leading e-publishing platform for societies, associations, university presses and the independent scholarly publishers. Hiver collaborates and facilitates digital resources like journals, books, reference works and proceedings for the readers, community, and researcher. It has approximately 3,000 journals. The complete manuscript submission, tracking, peer review, and the publishing systems for the general editions offered by hardware. It has excellent technology and support services for its members. It plays a significant role in the online publishing. Hardware started a journal of biological chemistry and neurosciences. The Journal of Biological Chemistry is online and affiliated with the Stanford University since 1995. Librarians and other information professionals support it for online subscription and reports. The HAVA portal provides a centralized interface for administrators to manage their accounts for publications. The users of its publications are researchers, clinicians, scholars, and the students. Another example, Ohio Link. The Ohio Library and Information Network, Ohio Link, is a consortium of 90 Ohio college and university libraries plus the State Library of Ohio that work together to provide Ohio students, faculty, and researchers with the information they need for learning, teaching, and research. Serving more than 60,000 students, faculty and staff, OHU Link membership includes 16 public research universities, 23 community technical colleges, 52 independent colleges and the State Library of OHU. Together, OHU Link and its member libraries provides access to 
nearly 50 million books and other library materials, more than 100 electronic research databases, millions of electronic journal articles, over 81,000 e-books, thousands of images, videos and sounds, and over 39,000 theses and dissertations from Ohio students. Directory of Open Access Journals, DOAG. DOAG is an online directory of open access journals consisting of 18,24,687 articles from peer-reviewed journals. There are 10,189 journals available for proliferation in 136 countries for freely accessible to the readers. The DOAG provides quality open access and indexing services related with the journals for wide use, promotion, and impact. The main aim of the DOAG is to increase the visibility and ease of use of open access scientific and scholarly journals. The next one is Directory of Open General Access, DOAG. The DOAG is making continuous efforts for the development of subject-specific resources e-prints, archives, and the collections of learning objects. The DOAG provides a very valuable supplement of scientific knowledge to the existing type of published scientific information like books, journals, databases, etc. However, these valuable collections are difficult to overview and integrate in the library information services provided by libraries for their users' constituency. The open access journals defined as a journal that use a funding model that does not charge readers or their institutions for access. From the BOI definition of open access, we support the right of users to read, download, copy, distribute, print, search or link to the full text of these articles as mandatory for the journal to be included in the directory. JSTOR. JSTOR is a non-profit making organization and funded in 1995. It has more than 2000 academic journals to help academic libraries and publishers. It also has thousands of monographs and other material relevant for the education. JSTOR has shared a digital library to help universities and colleges to save cost provide access to its contents and space on their shelves. JSTOR has digitized more than 50 million pages and continue to digitize approximately 3 million pages annually. There are a large number of studies available in the JSTOR on user study. A few of the articles from JSTOR have taken and summarized as follows. Lois Bebout, Donald Davis, J.R. and Donald Oherland 1975 have described that user studies in science and technology have been conducted for over 20 years and during the last decade there has been a growing interest in social scientists as information users. However, humanities have largely been overlooked. Citation studies have been done in a limited number of subject areas. For example, Gleaves have done in 1960 and Bowles in preparation in American literature, Broaders in 1953 in speech, Truckers 1959 in philosophy, Wagon in 1959 in music, Simonton 1960 in the fine arts. Wilson T.D. Uh, elaborated 60 years of the best in the information research on user study and information needs. The details of the T.D. Wilson's uh, survey can be found at the given website. So students, let's summarize what we have studied in this module. The research on user studies was started in the late 1940s and thereafter it has constantly increased in both the national and the international level. Wilson in 1991 has written that the first user study was commonly recognized at the Royal Society's Conference in London 1948. Now, the studies related with the users, the library has become one of the most researched area in library information science. A large number of studies on the needs, information seeking behavior, 
reading habits and the other concern aspects on user were carried out since the last 8-9 decades. These users study constitute a large amount of literature in the existing literature on user studies. As far as the India is concerned, several user studies have been made since decades in which the use of libraries, databases, media, documents or information were treated as an independent variable while the sex, age, job, geographical location or the institutional affiliations were treated as the independent variable. These kinds of studies in the library information science have carried out in different disciplines and different times for the different places. The research output on user studies are probably in the same direction in almost all the disciplines but their conditions are different. The studies were conducted by individuals, researchers or institutions as well. Certainly, the user studies are investigations of the use and the users including non-users and the potential users of the documents, information, communication channels, information systems and the information services. The literature on user studies are available in various forms like JSTO, DAOJ and other journals. It is also available in traditional forms like print. These studies were conducted to improve the quality of services, policies making and the other decision making activities for the betterment of the library functioning. Now, a literature review show diversity and plethora of topics explored by various studies at various levels. The output of users study is an endeavor for betterment of the services of the libraries and reading habits of the users.